Our first matchup is Muay Thai matchup. In the red corner, he is five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. From Champion Martial Arts in Littleton, Colorado, please welcome Kiyotaka Kamatsu. And in the blue corner, he is five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 147 pounds. From San Francisco, a professional Muay Thai fighter, please welcome James Cook. Wayne, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Uh, Taka, or Kiyotaka Kamatsu is his full name. He has not had a Muay Thai fight before, and this is James Cook. Well, he's a professional fighter, been around a long time, and uh, he's up in his 30s in, as far as uh, how many matches he's had. Uh, so what we see is a lot of skill and a lot of training in Taka versus a lot of ring tough experience in James Cook. Taka is a black belt in Kyokushin karate, which is a full contact form of karate, but it uh, it helps to have ring experience that James Cook has. Absolutely. Look at James's footwork. Is uh, one of the things that's really good to know. He's moving around, constantly moving, and keeping offensive. He's able to move, make small blocks like he's doing right now, bringing in a flurry of hands. Taka's doing a good job of keeping his own distance and protecting his face, which is what he's got to do because the pro boxer is definitely going to go uh, upstairs as much as possible. In this contest, all Muay Thai matchup rules apply, except there will be no knees allowed to the head and no elbows as well. This is for both fighters' protection. Um, but look out for Taka's kicks. I can say from personal experience, he has got a fast, fast ground kick. And I think he's going to be un looking to unleash it as often as possible. Oh, a big knockdown by James Cook. But Taka's up and he's right back in there. One thing I noticed Taka doing is uh, lowering his head whenever uh, James Cook comes in with a flurry. And that leaves him open for uppercuts and, well, about anything else that James wants to throw at him because Taka's not not uh, aware of uh, right. what James is doing. Yeah, it is. He uh, When he's going on the defensive, he has a tendency to want to lower his head and put him behind his hands. It may be from uh, not sure of where, where he is in the position, what, should, what he's supposed to be doing. When you watch James's head, when he is being struck out in the head, his head is bobbing, it's moving, it's trying to step out of the way. And uh, there we saw a little bit of the clinching going on. And uh, James Cook came the bed out of that too as Taka was thrown off balance. Well, Taka doesn't have much experience with uh, knee kicks as uh, James Cook, the, uh, right. the new tie fighter. Right. right. It's absolutely true. Now we're going to take a break to uh, walk over the trainers for a drink of water. Um, but uh, with Taka, he has a lot of experience in the Kyokushin karate, as we said before. And a lot of those kicks are uh, they're going to be body kicks and not so much the chopping kind of leg kicks that you're going to see in the uh, traditional Muay Thai arsenal. The yeah, Kyokushin uh, is more uh, geared to self-defense and it isn't really uh, designed for ring work. Exactly. That's the big difference that a lot of people um, might not know about is Muay Thai isn't often considered in the martial arts, but it is definitely a full-on fighting art. Ooh, some tough kicks to the body. And wow, look at the stretching, the legs on both of those guys. Both a tremendous range, very fast, as you can see. So who's going to be able to score? Taka has been successful in maintaining his composure, even though he's in there with a professional kickboxer. He does, and he's connecting to the head. He's coming back with rights and lefts, rights and lefts. Ooh, but James Cook, very patient, steps back, sees his move, and delivers a blow, which sends Taka uh, a few feet away. Obviously, Taka's not conditioned for those kind of head shots. No, no, it could be a very shocking thing when it hasn't happened before. And right now, our referee, John Peretti, the UFC matchmaker, is uh, attending to Taka right now to make sure he's feeling okay and willing to continue. It looks like he is. Taka has no quit in him. He wants to do his best in this match. Absolutely. And both of these guys are in tremendous physical shape. You can tell there's not an ounce of fat on either of them. They're both ready to go. But Taka is uh, very respectful of James Cook's power now. He is. He's keeping a few distance, uh, keeping a few feet away, keeping that distance. He's something he's got to do and pick and choose his time to come in because otherwise James Cook will just, and just like he's doing right now, find the opening. And actually, that left hook to the face looks like it did a little bit of damage, and Taka does not look, uh, does not look like he has a lot of fight in him at this point. UFC matchmaker again, John Petty looking him in the eye. Making sure he's okay, so he's ready to go. 
Actually looks like he is. James Cook patiently waiting on the other side of the ring. He doesn't look too anxious to go, but he's he, he doesn't want to quit just yet. He wants to see what else he can uh, come up with. Right. And a good thing to note that he is a last-minute replacement. Uh, Dwayne Ludwig was supposed to find James Cook, but was injured during training, and uh, Taka agreed to step in for him. So a very, very honored, um, very interesting situation there for Taka to be in. The ring man for James Cook, uh, just uh, reassuring him that he has the match well in hand. That he does, as they take a short break as we enter the last part of the fight. Taka doesn't look like he's beat up too, too badly, but he, he just doesn't have the experience of being pounded in a ring. Right. And so many of the Muay Thai guys, when they, they had a full match, their legs on the inside and the outside and everywhere are just covered with bruises. And uh, Taka looks pretty good. He looks pretty fresh. He just had a couple of contacts to the face. It caused a little bit of swelling, but uh, really not that bad at all. I don't know if that's a case of James Cook just being nice to him or a uh, or, uh, tribute or testament to uh, Taka's skills. I think it could be both. Well, up to this point, Cook has been uh, measuring his man and uh, taking shots when he can, and now it looks like he's going to step up the pace. Uh, left knee by Cook, and Taka trying to hold on. Cook very aggressive. Uh, he's trying James to put Taka to open up. Yeah. The knee's coming in on both sides, and I can tell you that Taka does not have experience blocking knees that he would want to have coming into this contest. I think that talk is done. Yeah, Freddie checking him out, pulling his chin, looking at the eyes. Rip ref calls the match. James Cook, the expected victor of that he is. Your winner, by referee decision, James Cook. Let's give a big hand for Taka Kamatsu in his first Muay Thai bow. Excellent fight, gentlemen. Thank you.